Hang on, man. You might as well stop playing with me, bro. Dreams, dreams, dreams. Damn, I want to play, play that song again. You play it again. You play it again. You play it again. Dreams, 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 dreams. Blessed day, commanders. Welcome on. Tell me, roll out the red carpet. <laughs> Thank you for allowing me to bring Fred home. Where he belongs. We'd never leave a brother out in the cold. Like See? We never leave a brother story. out in the cold. Stop playing. I'm inspirational. Sensational. Lighter. Inspirational, sensational. We are now tuning in live from Megan the Stallion's natal chart. You are now staring at Megan the Stallion's sidereal chart. Because I refuse to watch something and you ask me 31 things, my nigga. I'm not doing that. Mm hmm. What happened? What's going on? I got you five. All I need is five minutes, my brother. Well, five minutes. We were watching Handmaid's Tale. Put some Gemini shit happened to me. Uh, I'm a Barbie girl. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, my God. Fine. Oh, my God. This, this session will begin in two more minutes. We have two minutes. We're letting everyone, we're letting all the kids come in. We're letting the youngins catch up. Let everybody settle in. Huh? Uh, thank you for coming in. This is Megan the Stallion's natal chart. We're letting all the girlies come in because usually I just start. Be I just start, and then people have to um, catch up. But this time, since the moon is a Gemini, we are learning patience. Thank you, patience. Yo, my moon conjunct Mars. I know my twelve hours, and I got glit I got stitches. What? Oh wow! You got stitches already? So, be careful with body injuries. Thank you. Hello. This is my ASMR voice. I hope this sounds sensational to you. Also, the lovely background noise of what is now called New York City. And in the future, the people city. Thank you. I appreciate that. You are now tuning in live to Megan the Stallion's chart. And we have T minus one minute. We're waiting for all the girlies to come in. Okay, this is a sidereal chart for those that are sitting back and listening to my the sounds of my voice. Thank you. This is Megan the Stallion's natal chart. We will begin momentarily. Buckle up. Thank you. Please put on your seatbelts. Thank you so much. Por favor, pónganse los cinturones. You are now riding. Um, Shirley's exclusive airlines into the future. Thank you. We are stuck. Okay, we don't. Why well, we gotta have English in barreras, bro? Stop playing. Okay. Welcome to the future. You are now a 17 years into the future. Thank you very much. Neptune is in. I don't know where the fuck is gonna be at the future. Don't worry. Let's just find out right now. Anyways, Megan the Stallion. She has. A couple things that I noticed because somebody got me mad on TikTok. So shout out to the person that got me mad on TikTok. So now I can talk that shit. You hear me? Hello. Okay. So a couple things. They always talk about the 18 degrees a lot on TikTok. If you scroll through the astrology TikTok, they're always going at 18 degrees um, for hours. Like they know what the fuck they're talking about. But a lot of people in the universe have 18 degrees. It's a Virgo degree. Okay. 18 degrees is a health degree mental health degree by the, in particular is all virgo shit it's literally the last degree of virgo by the way wow thanks bro you almost made me drop my phone anyways we're wow the lovely musics of new york city hopefully you can still hear me can everybody still hear me Oh, you hear this jazz sensational music of McDonald's for my friend who's eating McDonald's and polluting her body. Can everybody still hear me out there before I continue? I'll go outside. Okay, so 
Anyways, back to here. So, things that I noticed. Just back, get straight into it. She was trying to talk about um, Megan Thee Stallion being a powerful karmic deliverance person, but she kind of used the wrong reference online. Um, we're going to crack it down. I just thought it was really cool. So, Megan Thee Stallion has Venus in Sagittarius at 18 degrees. Venus rules women, right? It makes a sextile to Saturn at 18 degrees and then that saturn which is karma of course makes a square to jupiter at 18 degrees now i said this on tiktok but i also want to talk about her sun and saturn so jupiter is elders right so we know jupiter is elder jupiter really rules that venus again is in a connection with saturn and if you notice 18 degrees is associated with virgo things and if you look virgo in her chart is the sixth house of health and which is associating this woman in her life, Venus, Jupiter, and Elder, and health, right? Something transformative about this. Something, mind you, the her mother had brain cancer. Now, if you look, her Jupiter, which is Elder, is in Scorpio. And if you look, Scorpio is really ruled by Mars, and Mars is in Cancer in her chart. And I always tell you all that whenever you see Cancer placement in a chart, and you see Aquarius placements in a chart, and you see Virgo placements in a chart, even as small as a Chiron like that, you will more than likely be seeing uh, something karmic happen in the person's life, honestly, whether it's good or bad, okay? So I hope that one makes sense there, what we just did there. So again, just the rundown. Jupiter is at 18 degrees. Scorpio in the 8th house, right? Elder, which Jupiter rules Elder is in scorpio is ruled by mars and mars in her chart is in cancer cancer rules women is in her fourth house um that's the things that we know also by the way she also has karma with men in her life jupiter also rules superior people in charge and technically when you have a record company to fulfill you have a superior above you somebody in control of your assets your goods which is the eighth house so it's also like again bringing Chiron or 18 degrees is her work. It's her sixth house. Literally, that's her job. Like she's an artist. I hope that makes sense. Does anyone, does everybody get what I just did there a little bit? Yeah. Did you get it? Shout out to whoever got it. Um, what else? What else I want to tell you? Things that I also noticed that I thought it was cool. So yeah, we see the bad karma, obviously. But look at another cool thing that I see. Mars is in her fourth house. Fourth house rules home, land, house, right? Mars is the ruler in her chart, sidereal rising, which is her body herself, which the fourth house is creator. She's really a great creator if you really, if you really truly get it. Um, and then Mars is also the ruler of her Jupiter. So I think that one day Megan Thee Stallion will buy land. And that would be a possibility for her. And that land will also benefit other people, which is that Jupiter in the 8th house. So Jupiter trines that Mars. So there is some good out of all of this karma. And now the reason why I feel like she is going to be an important character into the future. Is remember that I told you that quote that whether she's alive or whatever the fuck happens to her from here into the future. Because she has Uranus right on her midhaven. We don't really know. Um, she does have Sun and Saturn together. So Sun is our soul, is also like authority, right? And being in charge, leaders. And then Saturn is the foundation, the government. And whenever Sun and Saturn are together in a chart, Sun and Saturn together, like Megan the Stallion having, meaning she will be in, she will have a foundation of which she's a leader or authority, or she might even be working in the government. Like similar to what, um, almost like Kim Kardashian, because Kim Kardashian also has the Sun and Saturn together, which she's not really. Sons, hang on, because I know they just cut me off a little bit. Like Kim, I was talking about Kim Kardashian. Did everybody get what I just did there? Who got what I just did there? Somebody, anybody? Hello. I hope that makes sense. I was talking about Megan the Stallions. Who just got what I did there? I made, huh? Yes, yeah, somebody said yes, yes, yes. 
I need to hear. Yes, yes, yes. Sun and Saturn together. Kim Kardashian has a son in Libra. Her Saturn is in Libra. She is now trying to go for the bar to become a lawyer. And she's literally been in government. So that means that one day, um, what's her name? What's her name again? Megan will also be up in government. Yes. Yes. So do you see why Megan the Stallion will be part of? Wow. See, that's other. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that was my five minute live for you. Where I broke down Megan the Stallion's chart in my Yeah, she wanted to run a hospital and a facility. Yeah, she will. One day she will definitely run something bigger than her. Um Yep, so definitely Megan the Stallion is a main character into the future and I hope you all stood let me know when she buys that land. Shout out to you, Megan the Stallion, shout out to you. Anyways, if you notice, look at, but you can, look how cool this is. The whole point of this was, I use her sidereal chart. But, if you look. Oh, shit, I had her. I thought I had her um, tropical chart. I have her tropical chart in my other, in my other phone. Sorry, y'all. But in her tropical chart, she's actually a Taurus. And her son is not conjoining saturn and sidereal that's why it's good to also read your sidereal because it'll tell you a different side of your own story that was the whole point of this lesson this five minute thing which is you if you really take a look at right now tonight your homework should be let me go look at both my sidereal and my tropical in whole signs thank you one more time you're going to go to edit and you're going to edit it so it could be in whole signs you should see the difference even if it's in placidus you will notice that it's different um in tropical she's a taurus and her saturn is in pisces which means her saturn return is really happening in the next couple um next year supposedly that's what it's saying but truly saturn sidereally will enter i think aquarius honestly in march saturn will enter aquarius sidereal so Anyways, I just want you to notice that. Thank you so much for no everybody who came in tonight. I hope you have a great night. We learned about Megan the Stallion. I will probably save this. I hope this sounds good later on in the playback. Thank you. Love you. Bye.